let's make a lovely lazy daisy. So bring your needle up at the pointed edge of the shape, the pointed end, and pull through all of your working thread so that you've got your knot securing your thread at the back. Okay, so with this technique, I've got my stitching hand holding the needle and I've got my other hand, which is actually going to do a bit of work helping us um, form this technique. So lay the thread out in the direction that your loop's happening. So we don't want it over here. We want it here. See how our loop, our first lazy daisy loops heading out this way. So let's lay our working thread out in that direction. Just gently press it against the fabric with your other hand to hold it in place. Okay, now poke your needle down. Ideally it would go into the same hole that you came up in, but just beside is absolutely fine for a pointy lazy daisy. And slowly draw all that working thread to the back, but as you do, don't go too fast. The key is you want to leave a nice big loop on top of your fabric. And you're just gently holding that in place with your other hand. Okay, now you want to bring your needle up inside the loop, aiming for the point that's just inside that curved top edge of the loop. So see how I'm just bringing it up inside there. So gently pull all that working thread to the top, but you wanna extend it out away from the end of the loop and just go slowly and notice how we're forming that lovely lazy daisy shape. And the goal is to stop when you've mirrored how um, loopy you want your lazy daisy to be. So mine's about right there. I could pull it just a little bit tighter. Okay, and so now I've got that nice lazy daisy shape and now I need to secure it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to poke my needle down. It's just a tiny stitch length away on the outside edge of that top curved end of the loop. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just creating a really tiny stitch. And that little stitch, when I have drawn it tight, is going to secure my loop to the fabric. But as I pull it tight, what I want to do, I just want to use my finger or my thumb, I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing. I'll put my thumb on that lazy daisy as I tighten the loop, I just give it a little tug. You couldn't see what I was doing there, but because my thumb was over the lazy daisy loop, it meant that it held its nice round shape and I didn't pull it into a tight shape. So let me show you that again. So let's bring our needle up at the point, the pointed end of the next lazy daisy shape. Using our other hand, we're going to lay the thread out in the direction we want, poke the needle down into the same hole or just beside, and draw the working thread down to the bottom. But remember, we're going to use our other hand just to hold that nice loopy shape on top of the fabric. And you want it to be a much bigger loop than the one you're going to end up with to give yourself a bit of space to work with. So then we bring our needle up inside that loop shape just on the inside of that top line and pull through the working thread, draw it away from where your loop is and just go really slow. Stop when it's formed that lovely loopy lazy daisy shape. And then remember we do our little securing stitch. It's just basically going over the thread um, onto the other side of that loop. And then hold your finger on top as you secure it. I won't now, just so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going very slowly and just see, I will now, I can tug on that little securing stitch to make it nice and tight. And that has secured my second lazy daisy to the fabric. Okay, so you can just continue making your lazy daisies um, as you go. For the stitch, tension is the key. So if I, I'll just show you, if I pull really tight when I make my lazy daisy, what can happen? is you'll end up with a much narrower shape. See how that shape's a lot more narrow than these ones? And that might be absolutely fine for the pattern you're working on. Working on. And also, it totally happens as a beginner, and it even happens to me when I'm not a beginner, so don't worry. But if that bothers you and you want, you want your loop to be rounder, you can just kind of gently tug your needle in um, and draw a bit more slack into that shape. So put your needle through the middle of the loop, just gently push on it, and now I've got a much, I've, brought a bit more working through back to the top side and it's opened up that lazy daisy and now I can secure it in place. And there's just one more thing I want to show you. I'm gonna bring my needle up for this last lazy daisy. They don't always have to come to a point at the bottom is what I want to show you. You might be stitching something like a wing on a bee and it doesn't need to come to a point. So in that case, that's totally fine. You just follow the exact same process. 
Um, if your loop ends up over here, don't worry, just use your free hand to nudge it back into place. And then form that shape, but this time, see how it's um, more of a horseshoe shape than coming to a point, and that's all good too. So that, my friend, is how to work beautiful Lazy Daisies.